Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Check this out, man. This is a spreadsheet that I got. Link to it is going to be down in the description. You can see all the archetypes. And then not only can you see all the archetypes, but you can go through and create filters. And uh, if you create a filter, let's say if I only want to see the three-point shooting archetypes, I can go down here, boom, and it'll only show me the ones with three-point shooting or what have you like that. And then if you uh, just want to do none, you, you go back to it. And you can do that for any, you can do that for for any uh, any parts on the sheet, man. You know, you can just you can create your filter, create another one. You know, you click on the joint, and I can say, hey, if I if I only want to see the ones that got Hall of Fame bruiser or something like that, boom, 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 then hit OK. It's going to show me the badges. It's going to show me the ones that only have that. So, just letting you guys know that this is this is where I got the spreadsheet from. Link to it is going to be in the description. But what I have been using this spreadsheet to do is kind of try to figure out the best bill, the best bill, the best bill for me, best bill for you guys. What I really think is going to be the best bill. People don't care what the best bill is. Let's just keep it 100. People don't care what the best bill is. They want to know what the cheesiest bill is to get buckets. If you want to know what the best bill is, I really feel like it's going to be some derivation of a 3 and D player or, or a GP. So it's either going to be the Clay Thompson or the GP. That's what you're probably going to see a lot in a Pro-Am. But for the park, a lot of people are going to go double offense. I'm counting on a lot of people to go double offense because I'm going defensive. I'm going uh, a defensive playmaker. Um, and, and it's going to be ball handling and passing primary, defensive secondary. And I'll show you why I'm going to do that in a second. But I'm going to show you why the other bills may be better for you. Now, straight up and down like 6 o'clock, man. The reason I'm doing this, you might go out there and kill everybody else with a dual archetype that's going to be uh, that's gonna be with a dual offensive archetype. But what I'm telling you is I don't care what you do about anybody else, and you shouldn't either. You shouldn't care what other people are going to be able to do to other people. You should only care what other people are going to be to do, be able to do to you. If I'm right at all and we get goal defensive stopper, then... You shouldn't be able to pull up in people's faces because we can't. We can only see what we can see right here. You shouldn't be able to pull up in people's faces. People shouldn't be able to uh, go around you like that because you're gonna have more strength and stuff like that. You're gonna have more lateral quickness, all that good stuff, man. So that's what I'm thinking. That's why it's the best archetype for me. And um, but I'll show you right now why you may want to do something else. Now check it out. Three point shooting is big for a lot of people. We know that 25 bars is like a 95, 3, 94, 3, you know, probably depending on your height, right? So if uh, 25 is that, we're going to say that this is probably about, we're going to say that uh, the ball handling and defending guy, he gets 14 bars. I'm thinking there's got to be 70 to 75, and the reason I think there's got to be 70 to 75, maybe even 80, is because the defending and three-point shooting guy gets 13 bars. I really don't feel like 2K is that broken to where they would not allow you to make threes consistently with your secondary archetype. I don't think it would be that broken. I think that if your secondary, obviously you should be able to make them consistently if it's your primary archetype, but I don't think that they're going to make your secondary archetype just barely good enough to be able to make threes. And because of that, the passing and ball handling and defending guy is good enough for me. Because if this guy gets 13 and he's expected to be able to make open threes, that's a D and three guy and instead of a three and D guy. And then you got the driving and finishing guy uh, with three-point shooting as his secondary. He also gets 14 bars. I've seen some other bills with three-point shooting as the secondary, and, um, and they're only getting 14 bars as well. I feel like if, if 14 bars is good enough to hit him consistently, if it's 70, I'm fine with it. I played all uh, the second half of the year after they changed shooting and made it harder. The only thing I played with was my playmaker. And I made threes at probably a 60% clip. That's good enough for me. I don't really know how the, how the changes are going to go, but it is what it is. Now, some people may need more three-point shooting than that, and that's fine. If you need more three-point shooting than that, you probably want to come down here. You may want to go with the shot-creating the shot three-point shooter because you get 20 bars uh, in your three-pointer. Until somebody comes out and figures out what these bars actually mean, is this 70, is this 80, you know, we won't really know what it is, but at the same time, it's a good barometer to look by just the way that I'm thinking, just inside my head right here. So, 
the passing and ball handling guy, he gets 20 bars. All these guys get 20 bars. I'm thinking 20 bars, if you miss this on, it's, it's, it's really on you. Something went catastrophically wrong. I feel like 14, you're probably going to be able to control it. So if you miss, it's going to be on you. I can live with that. But um, I really feel like some people are going to have, going to want this right here. Now, if you got the, if you have the passing and ball handling three-point shooter, you get 20 bars, but you're going to get different badges. That's what that's what that's that's gonna be the other thing. Do you want badges or do you want do you want the badges? Or do you want the shooting? Or do you want the ability or whatever? I don't care. I don't really care about badges or none of that stuff. I really don't think badges make that big of a difference anyway. If you open you should you should badges should enhance your your what your guy can do. They shouldn't make me be able to do it. So like I showed you guys with limitless range, you get more of ability to be able to shoot from three and uh and from really everywhere else. But I was doing it fine without it, but when I got it, it was all good. But let me show you this right here. So let's just go down with the three-point shooting. Uh, I really, this is the biggest thing that we don't know. But I'm just going to take it. Like I said, we're going to take the same barometer here. Ball handling. You get 21 bars, right? 21, 21. You get 21 bars of ball handling here. Damn, you get 22 right here. So we're guessing that 20, we're going to say that 20 is the threshold to be able to speed boost or whatever. So if you come down here, and you got a shot creator. You got the shot creator that can shoot threes. He's got 19 ball handling. With the boost, I'm guessing that you should be able to speed boost and shoot threes at the 20 clip. So that's probably gonna be the cheese bill that everybody's gonna rely on. At the same time, if you go three point shooting first and you get all the bad, it's really gonna depend on what the badges you want are. If you go three point shooting first, and uh, you go ball handling, passing the ball handling second, you're gonna get 18 ball handling. So you probably won't be able to speed boost, but nobody's gonna rip you. But at the same time, you'll get a three point shot that's here. But if you go with ball handling and shooting, you're gonna get your 20 ball handling, you're gonna get your 20 bars. I think that that's gonna be enough to be able to, you know, to be able to do whatever you want to. So the cheese bill for everybody that really, really, really just wants to get buckets and really doesn't care, Beware of it because I'm gonna tell you why. You got you you with this bill you will be able to uh you will be able to dribble the ball you will be able to shoot but you're gonna be one dimensional because you can't you can go inside for layups but we know that layups are not reliable in this game you're gonna get smacked right so you only got four to eight bars as far as um as far as dunking and and we really don't know what that is that's probably gonna put you around what 50 60 something like that maybe even 40 but with the shot creator. And the three-point shooter, you're gonna get 11 to 14 bars. So you can go to the rim with this guy. You're gonna be able to go to the rim. You're gonna be able to uh, make layups. You're gonna be able to shoot threes at a consistent clip. And you're gonna be a, you might be able to speed boost. Like I said, we really don't know what that threshold is gonna be until somebody figures it out. I guess with a boost, you should be able to speed boost. And then you know, depending on the height and all that. But uh, this is the guy that's probably gonna be broken. And I think that it's going to be broken straight up. I mean, I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, it's the shot creating three-point shooter. And that's why. Because this guy, he can make layups. His layups go up to 19. The dunks go up to 14. So you'll be able to do that consistently. Mid-range is damn near perfect. And then you got, uh, and then you can shoot threes with the 20 clip. And your ball handling is one tick lower than what, we, what I believe is going to be speed boost range or whatever. So, I mean, and passing and all that stuff, it really doesn't matter. But then you got to come over here and you look at your badges as well. And you say you shot creating three-point shooter. You get go you get Hall of Fame Tyler score, Hall of Fame difficult shots, Hall of Fame dead eye, uh, mid-range dead eye. Now, if you go the other way around, you're only going to get gold badges. So you might as well get some Hall of Fame on while you're doing it. Like I said, I think, I th I think that's probably going to be the most broken bill. I think that's the one that everybody's probably going to go with. But... Let me warn you, man. If you run, if defense is anything like it is this year, where, where if uh, well, in the beginning, and and pretty much in the end, if you if you if you close out by yourself, if defense is anything like it was, having gold, it, it really is gonna make make the the thing that's gonna make the difference is are are these guys gonna have gold defensive stopper? Because if they got gold defensive stopper, even if you create the space. Get the hand in your face, you're gonna miss the you're gonna miss the shot. So you may get shut down. The trap to this is you may get shut down by lockdown defenders, but at the same time, 
lockdown defenders don't matter because most people didn't know how to play lockdown defend anyway. They just reach, 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 reach. I use my guy to stay in front of you, level you off, and put a hand up and make you miss the shot. But a lot of people don't play defense like that. A lot of people don't play defense in this game anyway. I'll be counting on my defense to stop you, and I'm just going to hope and pray that they gave me a decent open shot three and, um, you know, a, a decent open shot three and a decent open shot mid-range because that's all I'm going to need. I don't have to be overpowered. But at the same time, if I'm defending the point, then, you know, I might be stopping a lot of that anyway. But if you want to be broken, you want to be just completely unstoppable and all of that, and here's the proof right here, man. Shot creating three-point shooter. It's probably the best mix of everything, and you still get purple badges. Again, shot creating three-point shooter. Check it out. You get you get uh you're gonna get Hall of Fame Tyler score, Hall of Fame difficult shots, Hall of Fame mid-range dead eye. Uh, then you're gonna get ankle breaking and tear dropper. That's probably gonna be useless. If you go three-point shooting, you don't get any badges. And then, if you go three-point shooting as your first thing, one more time, I'm just telling you this one more time, you're going to get, um, I mean, you get 14 on your layups, but down here you get 19 on your layups, all right? You're not going to be able to go to the rim at all. So you can forget about that because that's going to be four to eight on that. And then you're not going to miss shots. And then you're going to be way below the speed boosting threshold of what we think is going to be 20. But anyway, man, I've not already talked too long, man. Like I said, if you want the cheese, that's probably going to be the cheese. It's even cheesier than the than the playmaking, the ball handling uh, three point shooter because the ball handling three point shooter can't go to the rim either. You know they just can't. You got you got four to eight. I really feel like you're not going to be able to go to the rim. You'll be able to speed boost with no problem. You'll be able to shoot threes with no problem. But you're not going to be able to go to the rim. So people probably just going to crowd you uh, because they know, or they're going to stand back and close out because they know you can't go to the rim. Or they're just going to crowd you to death because they know you can't go to the rim. But with the shot creating three-point shooter, you have so many options. And you're going to be able to just terrorize people, I feel like. Unless some of these unless some of these change and, and, and we find out some of these thresholds are lower, this is probably going to be the wave that a lot of people are going to go with the shot creating uh, three-point shooter. And like I said... It's really going to be dependent upon this threshold right here from 14 to 19. And I'm sure that you guys are going to get in the lab and figure out exactly what it is and what height you can be and what max height you can be and all that. But anyway, man, I got to get up out of here. Hope you all enjoyed the video. I didn't just tell you why I think it. I'm showing you proof. So like I said, man, you know, a lot of people might go with that bill. It may be, I think it's probably going to be completely useless when you get into uh, Pro-Am. But I think on the park, you probably terrorize people with it and just and just cook people all day long. But anyway, I got to get up out of here, man. Hope y'all enjoy it. Hopefully, they'll let me play defense on y'all and close out on all that ridiculous stuff and you're just going to miss shots because that's why I feel like a two-way player is the best way to go. And um, I showed you why I think my, what my, my best player is going to be or, or a 3 and D player or something like that. And then, you know, but most people, they don't know what they're doing on this game. You're going to cook them. You're going to cook the hell out of people with that with that build until they nerf it. Because you know they will. Anyway, man, hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! 360 out this mug. Hey, and if you want to play with me, man, holla at your boy, man. Uh, hit me up in the comments. Um, Hit me up on PlayStation and all that. I'm streaming all the time. We're going to stream the whole prelude. We're going to answer questions. Make sure you sub for more daily 2K content. And we'll get at y'all next time. Peace.